We are in quite the pickle. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can lie, I you to be wild. Hey loves, it's your girl Joey the Set and welcome back to Beauty and the Boom. Before we can jump into this tutorial, go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, like, if you have any suggestions on any of the tutorials, skincare, or cocktails, go ahead and drop them below. Without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. already prepped my skin glowing already to get a naturally flawless glowing skin skincare play a huge role i use this in every tutorial i put way too much Soap brow and my NYX espresso brow pencil. I like using the edge control, but I can't find it. I'm super excited because I am going to be trying out today that concealer, that KVD concealer. Bought it and it just arrived yesterday. I have to use my NYX retractable eyeliner because I'm completely out of espresso. I'm trying to be as light as possible because I don't want my eyebrows too dark. Sometimes you just gotta learn to make it work. So I am using the P. Louise Rumor 0.5 and I'm gonna carve out my brow. But yeah, I'm a little bad because, you know, I actually wanted to film using those new products today, but it's fine. It is what it is. I'll just have to use it for the next tutorial. So I'm just cleaning up those brows, making it look nice and sharp. And the brush I'm using is Morphe M113. Look at my hand position, it's all the way to the bottom. I wanna have very light control. Now I'm just going to go in with this brush. This is from Glamier. And I got this brush from BoxyCharm back when I used to have it. And we're gonna apply it all over the eyelid. This is a base, which is really important because this is going to help the eyeshadow pop. It's also gonna keep the eyeshadow on your eyes for a very long time. Now I'm gonna take Sasha Buttercup and I'm going to put a light layer and this is going to mattify the concealer so that way you can make the eyeshadow blend a lot easier. I got it from Amazon. I will put the link in the description. And we are just going to sweep and just go and sweep this color back and forth. So now it's time to cover the crease. And I'm using the P. Louise Base Yummy Yellow. This is like the perfect, perfect ring color. If you don't have Yummy Yellow, you can use a regular concealer, not a big deal. Shadow perfectly. Now for the inner corner, give me some shimmer. Now I'm going to take the black and I'm just going to do a thin line. I'm not doing a wing, I'm going to keep it very small. I want the focus to be on the eyeshadow. I 
I'm gonna curl my short sticking straight down lashes. This is the Luxe Collection Lash and this is the color Lemonade. So to highlight the brow, I'm gonna be using Trophy Wife from Fenty Beauty. Trophy Wife is such like a summer spring color. I don't wanna put too much. Now I'm gonna do the other eye for TikTok and I'll be back. Okay, so real quick, I messed up, which can happen. So how I, how was able to fix it? So I took the P. Louise concealer and I applied it all over this to mute it completely. And did it very lightly over the eye mixed them together and then buffed it over that harsh line i'm going to take the orange and i'm just going to lightly apply it like so back and forth so we're going to go with trophy white highlight the brow so now let's start on the foundation now my skin is glowing i want to keep that glow so we're not going to use foundation i'm going to use glowish from huda beauty and this color it is a little too dark but i got it when i was a little darker but then i lightened up just literally pressing it into my skin so you see how dark it is right that's okay because we're gonna lighten it up with concealer and everything which i forgot to put the concealer on first to hide my blemishes it's like when you put on your foundation and realize you forgot primer that's why i always put it on in the beginning so i never forget it so again ignore the color we're gonna fix it so now i'm gonna try the kvd concealer the one that went viral on tiktok let me see what the hype is i'm just gonna use it to cover Usually I do this before I put on the skin tint. Alright, my little truth, let's blend first. Spray our setting spray. Now we're only going to apply some setting powder under the eye because I want everywhere else to be still glowing. Let me tell you guys from the trials and tribulations I went through with this tutorial to messing this eye up, to mix matching eyes. You never know what you're gonna get on here. What the hell is this? Is what I want. Is that a wrap? We are going to just set under the eye, nowhere else, because we want to have that dewy spring look. To be a Go ahead and get this nose. Just bring it down and we're going to push it up. Good old contour. Get the forehead. I have to switch some brushes. Let 
say when it comes to nose contour child i'm just winging it every time and that's really what makeup is that's why i always tell people don't be afraid to mess up because it's gonna happen clearly you saw earlier but i was able to fix it thank goodness Applying setting powder, we're gonna let that sit for a little bit. Now we need to get some bronzer. Now I want to do the lips. I'm still thinking about what I'm gonna do underneath the eye. Taking the lip liner matte cork. Like the goal was to do a purple smoky under eye. I think I may do brown. I'm gonna take my retractable eyeliner from NYX. smoke it out underneath These two, we're gonna set underneath the eye. That is literally going to make it like melt into the blush. <laughs> it's amazing if you ever have that issue where you feel like the blush is not blended. Child, take a little bit of pink and peach. Now you just let it air dry. Oh. 